Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, very happy to be here this morning. I want to thank European Council President uh, Charles Michel uh, and European Commission President uh, Ursula von der Leyen for coming to Canada uh, for this 19th Canada-European Union Summit. Um, we got a reminder last night of just how close friends we are uh, when uh, we heard that uh, your husband had been uh, one of those thousands of people uh, in Gander uh, on uh, the difficult days following 9-11 over 20 years ago. Um, just another example of the incredible bonds that unite us, uh, not just as three friends here, but as uh, countries and regions that are deeply, deeply connected in our hopes and aspirations, but also in our stories and our and our challenges. So it's a, a real, real pleasure. I have to tell you, uh, people have been talking about that story and that connection uh, all, uh, all day. It really is uh, uh, incredibly touching. Uh, I want to thank uh, Premier Fury and the people of Newfoundland for hosting us here in St. John's today. And we're here today, and if you could see it through the clouds, not far from Signal Hill, where the first transatlantic wireless signal came from Europe to North America right here on this island, up at the top of that hill, connecting our two continents, connecting Canada and Europe in new ways. And that's what this summit is all about, building on those connections, because the world we're facing right now is incredibly challenging and difficult. There are uh, issues coming at us from all directions, whether it's on climate, whether it's on public health emergencies, as we all went through uh, with the pandemic, whether it's on uh, shifting geopolitical interests, whether it's on political and, and, uh, and uh, violent conflicts around the world. And the thing is, none of them are discrete. They are all interconnected. And our ability to sit down as friends and partners aligned in values, understanding clearly the challenges coming at us, rolling up our sleeves and solving for them, sketching out the path forwards for how we're going to continue, not just to encourage peace, stability, security, prosperity in the world, but directly support citizens who are worried about their future, who are anxious about the present, and who need to see strong institutions and friendships and partnerships that are taking care of these big issues in a way that reassures and renders optimistic people around the world. On traverse une période de turbulence présentement. Il y a des conflits déchirants à travers le monde des mouvements autoritaires qui minent les valeurs démocratiques, de l'inflation mondiale qui se fait sentir à l'épicerie, et on voit les conséquences concrètes des changements climatiques. Et dans un monde avec autant d'incertitudes, c'est plus important que jamais de renforcer nos liens avec nos amis. The great thing about our European partners is that, like Canada, they're approaching these challenges in a way that builds more opportunity and builds a better future people can believe in. It's why we're moving forward on clean energy. Not only does this unwind people's dependence on Russia's weaponized energy exports, but it also fights climate change. A big part of what we're talking about is how Canada can help meet global demand. This means everything from the action Canada has taken to secure strong critical mineral supply chains so that we can build batteries for EVs, energy storage, and tech devices, to the progress we're making on clean hydrogen, including, importantly, for exports to European markets. Par exemple, le projet d'hydrogène qu'on soutient ici dans l'Atlantique, Everwind, qui va produire de l'énergie pour alimenter l'économie allemande. C'est un projet qui va nous aider à livrer la marchandise suite à l'alliance pour l'hydrogène entre le Canada et l'Allemagne qu'on a signé l'année dernière ici à Terre-Neuve et Labrador. Le Canada est prêt à être le fournisseur d'énergie propre qu'un monde carboneutre a besoin. Et on le fait en créant de bons emplois chez nous et de la croissance économique des deux côtés de l'Atlantique. Lutter contre les changements climatiques, c'est aussi s'attaquer aux conséquences. On est tous confrontés à l'augmentation des catastrophes naturelles comme les feux de forêt. This summer, Canada had the worst wildfire season on record, and we were 
therefore, deeply grateful to have hundreds of European firefighters come help us to get the blazes under control and keep people and our communities safe. But of course, as climate change is global, Europe has seen its own devastating fires too. So sharing resources and expertise is one of the best ways to deal with the impacts of climate change. And so today, I'm happy to confirm that Canada will be there to help our European friends with the latest version of de Havilland's iconic water bombers in a deal that will create good Canadian jobs, including in Alberta, where these aircraft will be manufactured. Yes, the Canadairs will be there to help Europe fight fires. On ressort aussi notre partenariat dans le cadre de la nouvelle alliance verte Canada-Union européenne qui va nous permettre de travailler ensemble pour lutter contre les changements climatiques tout en bâtissant un avenir propre et prospère. Travailler ensemble, ça a toujours été le fondement de notre partenariat. C'est comme ça qu'on a conclu l'accord de libre-échange entre le Canada et l'Europe qui a fait croître le commerce transatlantique et qui s'assure qu'on ait des normes élevées en matière de main dœuvre et d'environnement. See, good trade enables us all to grow our economies, support a strong middle class, and reinforce the values we believe in. And at a time when many of our democratic values are under threat, it's more important than ever that we work together. A great example of that is in Ukraine, where, Canada, where Ukraine continues to withstand Putin's illegal and violent assault on its people, its territories, and its very freedoms. And Ukraine continues to need support for their defense. That's why today I'm announcing that Canada is donating over 11 thousand assault rifles and over nine million rounds of ammunition being sourced from Colt Canada, which is based in Ontario. As leaders, all three of us, we continue to stand firmly together in pursuit of peace, stability and prosperity in Ukraine, in the Middle East and around the world. See, the peace and prosperity we've had for the last eight decades has enabled extraordinary growth an opportunity. People have benefited from a strong middle class, a well-supported social safety net with health care, dental care, and child care, and the promise that they can raise their families in peace and with a good future. And we are here today as friends to help secure that promise for future generations. As leaders, we're continuing that work to ensure a future that is safe, that has clean air, that has great jobs, and where there is opportunity for everyone. 